she said. Welcome back to the Writer's Room. On today's episode, the last episode of 2016, right. we are reviewing Star Wars Rogue One. Y'all. I'm your host, Matt. I'm Grisalia. And I'm Michael. And we're coming to you from HollywoodRedux.com, where you can check out all of our other cool content, our ReduxGear.com store, Click all it. of our fun okay. stuff. There's a little link somewhere, somewhere here, there. or maybe underneath in the description. <laughs> but if you've never seen one of our reviews, um, we usually tell you if there's going to be a spoiler, but this entire Major, review is going to be yeah. filled with Major spoilers. spoilers. Because there was like 12 minutes of footage released before the movie even came out, there's really nothing we can do um, in a review to give you a real review. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. That won't spoil something. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, please turn this off. Go see it. If you're one of those freaks that really likes to have the movie spoiled before you go see it for some reason, uh, and then waste your money going to buy a ticket for something you already know what's going to happen, uh, what? <laughs> What's that's wrong bullshit. with you? Oh. That's bullshit. Go ahead and watch it, I guess. Go ahead and watch the review. Freak. Go ahead and give us a click, and hey, while you're here, give us a little like. I like it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I like it. Uh, but anyway, Rogue One, Star Wars Story, is pretty fucking awesome, man. Yeah, I had a great time watching it. The whole time I remember leading up to the movie, it was always like, every time I see a trailer, big, like, don't suck, don't suck, uh, don't suck, yeah, don't but... suck. You Here. walk in with low expectations just to be safe, you know? Yeah, you kind of do. You kind of have to. If you overhype it, like, based on, like, oh, man, these are some incredible shots, which, by yeah. the way, some of the, the, my first gripe, and really my only gripe with it, and I get it because there was a ton of reshoots, mm-hmm. but um, a lot of the epic shots that I saw in the trailers yeah. that I expected to see in the movie yeah. are not in the movie. They weren't there. The so. final shot of Jin walking across the tower at the end of the movie and the TIE fighter comes up, not in the movie. What was that? Um, the entire time, yeah. her and um, Diego De Luna's character are Cassian. running across the yeah, running across the beach um, in the trailers and all the behind-the-scenes mm-hmm. footage, carrying the Death Star plans and things Where like that. that. Never happened in the, in the movie. movie. So there was a lot of shots I was expecting to see, and like it was a pretty decently long movie. Yeah. So the whole time I was kind of going like, oh, man, like where are they gonna put that in? <laughs> I really gotta kind of pee after that large coke, you know? Like, oh my god, you know? Um, but outside of that, I really love this movie. Yeah. yeah. I thought uh, my favorite part of this film was the third act. I mean, I think a lot of people are gonna say that, you know? Yeah. But the third act and a lot of the Easter eggs were my favorite part. Oh my god, oh, the Easter eggs! Uh, dude. Wonderful. You know, great Easter eggs throughout this uh, entire film. Um, but some sad ones too. If you really put the what happens in the next movie uh, together. Oh, let's get there. Some pretty sad ones. Uh, Jimmy All I Smith's. have to do is just this. <laughs> just point at Michael. Yeah. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but overall, my favorite part of this was the third act with the whole space battle and everything. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the entire Rebel Alliance coming together. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, you know, I've said this, and the reason that hits home for me is I've watched Star Wars since I can remember talking. Yeah. So, like... For me, I always led my life in a way of, like, don't ever give up. You yeah. know, the Rebel Alliance never gave up. And then, like, you know, the whole trophy ceremony at the end of A New Hope, you're just like, yes! You yes, know, like, more. hell yeah. Uh, so that was kind of, like, my creed my whole life. And then to see Rogue One, and they really gave up. They were like, nah, we quit. You yeah. Know? I was like, We're Wait, diplomats, we're what? scared. It was like, I was like, no! And then, like, all of a sudden, Jen rallied up a few guys. Yeah. Which, by the way, totally interested in seeing the spin-off movie of all the, like, you know, fucking assassins and shit yes, for please. the Rebel Alliance. That'd be pretty cool. That would be amazing. Be good. Remember that, Disney? Um, <laughs> but, yeah, the entire space battle was really cool because they finally got over, like, the fear of defeat and, regardless, decided to die standing up and, and won. Mm-hmm. Not won because they're, they had more because clearly yeah. the Imperial forces were, like, threefold more than Vastly the Rebel Alliance. Them. But they outsmarted them using imagination and ingenuity, yeah. and that's yep. what you know allowed them to win, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, I'm talking the whole time. That's Gavin, why I didn't want to do this review Gavin on because it was on. just going to be me yakking for 12 or 15 chatter, minutes, chatter, 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 chatter. not being able to shut up because I was so excited about it's fine. it. <laughs> but uh, you know, as we always mention, Michael had a sad cry. Cue the sad music. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or two or three. Mikey, how many cries did you have in total for this movie? I had four. <laughs> the best part is, we actually talked about this before, and we can pinpoint exactly where he cried. I know exactly what happened and why. <laughs> so, uh, well, what, I mean, there was a couple emotional moments yeah. in this movie. Um, whether it was, like, your inner fan, boy or girl, geeking. Uh, like, geeking the fuck out. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. uh, like, 
There were like it, it was the best. We saw it at two a.m. By the way, two a.m. Who seventy had to. millimeter film print? Had to go to work. It like fantastic. right. <laughs> it was beautiful, and like I was, we we went with our buddy Luke and um, Thank and you, a small Luke group Casey. of us. Thank uh, you, Luke Casey. Still any money for those tickets, pal? Hey, <laughs> ah, jokes on You'll you. Never see it. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, but no, we went at 2 a.m., we saw it on film, and, like, we were giving them shit a little bit because we thought we were seeing it at our normal big theater, the Chinese theater. We like it. Uh, you know, we love it, but it's a digital 4K, I think 3D. Uh, yeah, we saw so. it 2D, 70 millimeter, and Which was I the best. could not have had my foot in my mouth anymore uh, because it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It The first montage of the ship flying by, like, the asteroid belt and yeah. the rings mm-hmm. and all that. I instantly thought, like, holy shit, am I watching, like, Star Wars. it looked like a new hope, like, in the yeah. way that the noise is on the film and how it, like, just genuinely yeah. looks. So, like, yeah. to everybody who brought that together, kudos, like, holy Thank shit. You. And that, Thank that you. alone is yeah. enough for me to go see the movie. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but if you really want to go see the movie and have some great little moments that when there's something emotional, but you think, you think oh, I wonder what, how Michael looked when he was crying during that moment. You'll notice when this scene happens. First scene is when <laughs> first scene Saw Gerrera is showing uh, Jin the hologram that her father, oh. you know, sent through the pilot. The and Mads, you got me. He Mads always get me, you, man. Mads, Dude. he has always a way to delivered. make me cry every time. Killing it, man. You, I mean, you think it's well? You think the hologram is going to be about the actual mission or yeah. the the thing, but. All he's talking about is his love for his daughter. Yeah. His stardust. Which gets it Michael. Overpowers, yeah, it's, it overpowers oh, the... Yeah. My heart. My heart explodes. Stardust. Yeah, my stardust. So that was the first moment. And then, obviously, the second moment is him dying. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I have so much to tell you. <laughs> so much to tell you. <laughs> yeah. What? When that happened, I was like... Oh, They're going to make another movie just it. out of that. <laughs> <laughs> what did he have to tell her? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Bring back Mads. Um, Hashtag the, <laughs> bring back Mads. The third thing that definitely uh, set itself apart was when when uh, Chiru died. Oh man, I jumped on that one. Chiru was one of my favorites. Well, probably one of my favorite scenes was when he was battling the stormtroopers. Uh, I'm the force of forces with me. I am the force of forces. Just walking through, and then uh, he gets it. Oh, I mean, he luckily it was it was like stormtroopers and shit firing yeah. at him because they can't hit. Yeah, anything. Absolutely. So, so whatever. So maybe it was, was the force with the. Maybe it was the force. It, it exactly. was the force. Yeah. It was. It was the force was. because the force was. was with whoever doubt it. And then uh, that was a cool moment. That was that was number three. Um, sad moment number four was immediately after when Baz died. Oh yeah. Oh, Baz. Well, you know what? It it wouldn't have had that much of an impact, I don't think. And this is where like the editing was really good, and it could have been a creative choice in the beginning or whatever. But he has that final look. Where he looks at Shrew when he's yeah. dead. And uh, so he's looking oh. at his best friend, you know, and, and then he and, and he's, he's happy even to go. and he's even and saying boom. it. He's yeah. even saying yeah. it. The force I'm the, yeah. the force uh, yeah. is with me. Like how cool. do you I not melt? Uh, the, I would have liked to have had more an, of a time to develop some of these characters. That's another gripe I had yeah. with this movie. So it felt like it was one action sequence kinda of to the next, which is totally cool. We needed um, that too, in a way. But I, I do wish there was some more character development, especially with those two characters, because yeah. those guys they had badass. such that epic of a moment that like mm-hmm. it still hit home for you. Yeah. But oh, I felt yeah. like it fell flat for me where I was like, you know, I didn't I cared a lot about these characters, but I expected to know a little bit more about them and who they yeah. are right. to where it would have really like hit home. And I feel like some of that again, I saw some of that stuff in the trailers. Yeah. Where he's yeah. like, they killed my family, and I am here, you know, now I fight, you know, the Empire. Yeah. And that wasn't even in the movie. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, there was like big story beats or whatever. There was a lot missing. just was like trimmed out. There was a lot. And, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the movie because of that. I mean, it was, it was basically, it was like me playing with toys, but it was <laughs> on the big screen, and it was so damn cool. And yeah. there's... So many Shadows of the Empire references in oh. this. Almost every ADR line during a space battle is like <laughs> Shadows of the Empire. Like, we're bringing our bomb run and all this. Stuff. You know, it's just like, uh, I loved it. Uh, it was so good. There was a lot of, like, yeah. sm- uh, the Easter eggs in this could probably go on forever. But, like, <laughs> holy shit. That's like, the whole was, reason was, you should go watch it, too. Like, the digital really faces. Digital faces are a little creepy here and there. Yeah, that was um, a weird. But cool, it was cool to see weird. everybody. I, I called it. I knew Leia was coming up at the end there. 
I, I, I saw them running he through. He did call I was it. Like, I can vouch. What's that, that little floppy? I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, shit. We're going to see Leia. Yeah. And with that other digital face, Tarkin, I was like, we're going to we're gonna see Leia. And Here's sure my enough. real thing <laughs> is I'm, I'm, you know, I'm half curious to, to see how um, – how did C-3PO and R2 get onto that ship from Yavin 4 mm. before all that happened? Gareth Edwards, hit me up, dude. Let me know. I mean... What's going on there? I what, mean... The fans want to know. I mean, <laughs> plenty of comments. Know, like, I mean, us. he left Yavin 4, so maybe he took them with them, and then somewhere in talking to his daughter before going home... Oops, sorry, dude. Uh, very hot temperatures there in the next few days. At Alderaan. Um, oh, but, oh, God. Yeah, like, I wonder, there was, like, a little thing. I was like, how did they get there for her to give the message to Obi-Wan? Hmm. So they must have had to have talked to each other because he relayed the message to her. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Don't hit me up now, Gareth Edwards. I'm busy. Uh, so <laughs> you hit me up any time, man. I dug this movie a lot. Um, but, yeah, no scroll. That was a little different. It, it yeah. jumped right I to- in. I'm totally happy. It was fine. It came out. It was fine. I just my my Star Wars heart was skipped a beat. I was like, okay. Well, for, it was right. a little different. It was, it was weird. Different. It was being its own standalone movie. Yeah. So yeah. it's like. I mean, I was almost like expecting to see the Rogue One logo that we got in all the trailers. Something a little yeah. different, uh, but that but was it was like straight up just the yellow text. Rogue One, Rogue One nothing bordering it, nothing Zoom. like that. Just Rogue One, yeah. uh, and that was cool. Yeah, I thought it was, it was fine. different. So, uh, you know, Mike, you uh, you loved seeing Mads Mikkelsen. He made you cry a lot. Was there something that you really enjoyed that did not make you cry in this movie? Um, <laughs> you know what you just asked? <laughs> That's so difficult because Ben no, Daniels. He's, he's, by the way, he's been trying. You guys almost got see me this. He's trying so hard not to cry. We right shoot now. such <laughs> shitty video on this show that you can't see it probably. Water. But he has been trying not to cry <laughs> this entire show. And it is. Uh, I, I'm Matt trying Mickelson, so hard Matt not to stare because it's so. <laughs> Matt's because said, please, please, please send force him. Please. please send him a video uh, force telling force him it'll be okay because you He's made him cry right so now. often that anytime he thinks about you in this movie now, God. he gets teary. We talked about this, not just this movie. We've discussed other oh. ones too. I mean, I'm a fan. You can say I'm a fan now. And I, I, ha- <laughs> I have to go back to see Hannibal, but. Hannibal's incredible, man. I'm sure I'm going to love it, too. He also cried in uh, Doctor Strange, just to let you know. Of course, yeah. when you died. Doctor Strange. Yeah, you were rad in that yeah. movie, too. <laughs> so, man. he loves you. Bring back Mads. <laughs> Bring back <laughs> Mads. Uh, well, saying. Chris, what, what was your... what? I mean, you didn't really say much, because, uh, I mean, you've been agreeing a lot, but, you know, what did I've you... I've been agreeing. Uh, well, you guys been saying everything right. <laughs> That's you always. Know? Always. <laughs> uh, but, I mean... Uh, he he did mention like one of the coolest things, but one of my favorite things to watch was actually hearing. Okay, it was hearing James Earl Jones again mm-hmm. on the big screen. Yeah, That's because cool. like I obviously I didn't get the chance to see the original on the big screen, so the fact that this was kind of that yeah. for me was incredible. Like I've I love James Earl Jones and him as Darth Vader. Oh my god, so that was great. Number two was Darth Vader's reveal. <laughs> Stepping out of the shadows with its saber. The kick ass. Oh, the kick ass scene. Are oh, you kidding end? me? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty awesome. Dude, you got I to see. <laughs> you got to see him be more badass. I was like, like on the edge seconds, of my yeah. seat, like just looking at that. I was like, oh my God, this is fucking happening. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was. Uh, th- those awesome. were just two of my favorite scenes, but no biggie. He stabs through a guy and the door opens, slices. You know, no biggie. Darth Very Vader brutal. is a badass. Oh, Very brutal. Relentless. It did look like somehow when that lightsaber came on and he was in that tunnel, like, because you heard the breath and it was just like. Shit's about to go down. Shit's gonna get real. Um, but like when he was standing there holding his lightsaber and it came out, it kind of looked like he was just like, like flexing <laughs> up, just like, come at me, bro, come, come at me, at bro. Me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just goes and like just ices like, fifteen just dudes and no no Baller. effort. Bitch. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Which actually leads right up to a new hope. So really, yeah, right uh, up to it. You know, this is why it's great. I can't wait until I can watch that. Rogue One followed by immediately like as a double feature yeah. of A New Hope. It makes you want to go home because and watch A New it. Hope is the greatest sequel to Rogue One uh, that it could be. <laughs> so they did wow. a really good job, yeah, man. With all the Easter eggs, mm-hmm. all the different, you know, squadrons, one led by my man Ben Ben Daniels ben. Uh, from The Exorcist. That was so cool to see him on Hashtag the Hashtag Ben yeah. is not dead. <laughs> I love we you, Ben. We never saw his body. We, we never, never saw, saw his body. Um, I'd still like to see him. Somehow 
he got off the oh, planet. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> how that <laughs> happened. Because they all died. We love you, Ben. The whole planet gone. went up. Everybody's gone. <laughs> um, and I mean, that's the other thing. Is like I think I feel like maybe the reshoots had something to do with that. Hey. Because it seems like if you're cutting around all those other objects that like were cut out of the trailers, there it had to have been a different story where they either somebody made it off with the plans, mm-hmm. or somebody you know died doing something else. But maybe it was just too dark. Maybe it was too. Oh violent maybe it was just too ha- i don't know you mm-hmm. know so ultimately i think the ending was always going to be vader on that ship getting those plans yeah. because that was not the original ship it was sent to it was sent to those guys so mm-hmm. you know yeah uh but i don't know massive i would love to see what the original vision was and, and yeah. if there is a cut that'd of that really ever cool. coming out that'd be pretty sweet we'll see it um, I did like to see the World War II helmets and things like that on some of the Rebel yeah. fighters and things like that. That, that was, was pretty cool. Yeah, it's very creative. Um, yeah, it was nice because you know Lucas always pulled stuff from pa- from the history and things like that. You know, I yeah. mean Han's blaster is a Luger. You know, things yeah. like that. So, uh, you know, really cool stuff. But overall, I I, I really dug Rogue One. I'm go really excited watch to see it. it again. I liked it. Go watch yeah. it. Go see it. Well, definitely go see it. Awesome. Well, for the writer's room, that's going to do it for 2016. Oh. We can't thank you enough for sticking around with us every week and coming back and sharing our videos and liking and commenting on our stuff. I'm crying. We do it because of you guys. Always finally crying. Because, <gasps> there it you is, know, you it's guys. It's a sentimental moment. Stop but you it. guys are great. You guys are interact with us and reach out to us all the time. We can't thank you enough. Thank you, guys. Thank for you the so writer's much. Room, we were going to be off for a couple of weeks, but we will be back. There is an IGL tomorrow and our final K-Files of that's the year right. as well on Wednesday. Check it. So for the writer's room, it's going to do it for us. I'm Matt. You can find me at Splashdown1 on all social media. I'm Chris You can find me at Chris on all social medias. I'm Michael, and you can find me at What the Hess. And we're coming to you from HollywoodRedux.com, where you can check out all of our other shows. That's right. Che- be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, like, comment, and share. Also, mm-hmm. check out Redux.com, where you can buy some cool shirts wow. and mugs and hats and all sorts of good stuff that's from right. our store. And until next year, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you later. Bye bye guys. Goodbye, Be sure guys. to subscribe over there or even click our social media here. Buy a shirt, man. Just do it. Support us. All right. See ya. Bye. bye. Guys.